to pray to do, and there wasn't some other guy who looks at me like I'm a pair of floor shines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I... Well, what do you say? Are you saying that you're actually considering acting on these feelings? No, no, I'm committed to... No, I would... No, just... Okay, so what? He says, we're comfortable. What's wrong with comfortable? A lot of couples don't even get to comfortable. Right? right? And we both know that fireworks eventually burn out. Comfortable lasts forever. What's wrong with that? Everything. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How was your dinner with Pee Wee? Did you get the radio? No. He was leading me on. He does his, it as a car, guys, for free meals and pheasant ammo. <laughs> Men. I'm sorry. I know how much that radio meant to you. I can't believe how much money I wasted on this guy. Yeah, but it's only money. And you spent it because you love cars so much. I can understand that. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, fine. I, uh, I rented up a video. I thought maybe we could watch it together. Oh, no. Let me guess. Terms of endearment. <laughs> Spartacus. <laughs> it's my favorite movie. I know. I thought I'd give it another chance. thought it might bring us closer together. I'm sitting right next to you. <laughs> yeah. Does this have anything to do with the guy at the gym that said I married my sister? <laughs> what he said was that we seemed like brother and sister. He's a con man, dude. He convinces a woman that she's married to her brother. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's moved in, husband's moved out, in a furnished apartment eating celery soup out of a can. <laughs> I love you. I'm not going to leave you for another man. I just don't want to go through the rest of our marriage like a brother and sister. Me too. Or is it a move that buy you? <laughs> so tell me something. Are you totally satisfied with the way we are? Oh, yeah. Sam, come on. Well, not totally. Okay. Okay. If you could change something, if you could wake up tomorrow and have something be different, what would it be? You really want to know this? Yes, I do. Say it. Whatever it is. Well, if something could be different, I wish you I wish you'd be a sex life. How? I wish we had one. <laughs> It's been a long time. I know, I know. But you know how hard it is for me when I don't feel close to you. Well, it's hard for me to feel close to you if you don't have sex. <laughs> well, then what are we going to do? Well, you said we're out of tune, so we'll... Let's get a tune-up. <laughs> what do you say I take you to Sarantino's on Saturday? We'll can't let dinner, you and I? That sounds pretty good. Although you are on the rebound from Pee Wee. <laughs> If there was one thing you could change about a relationship, what would it be? I wish that we would talk more. And I wish sometimes if I'm feeling down that you would put your arms around me and just hold me. That's two things. <laughs> I just wish you understood me better. I mean, look past what I say sometimes to try to figure out what I really mean. You know when I was talking about the shoes, what I was trying to say... It was like a metaphor for our marriage. And instead of having my feelings hurt, I should have gotten past my own insecurity and, and, and seen it for what it was, an affirmation of our love. <laughs> Shoes, they say it all. Someday it'll just be the two of us prowling around the house. You think we'll outlive the kids? <laughs> Talking about when they move out, you know, it's going to leave a big void. We'll fill the void with all the stuff we've always wanted to do together. Like what? Oh, chop and channel 49 Merc. <laughs> we'll buy a fishing boat, we can gut our own flounder. We'll rather work on the car. Alright. <laughs> what about painting? I love painting. We can take lessons. Alright. I think it was a pan and two rollers. <laughs> I was getting my haircut the other day and I read a magazine that said a couple gets divorced 
every minute. Gee, think that couple would stop getting married. <laughs> you know, when we first got married, I was so scared that it wasn't going to work out. And then there was this one moment, about six months in, when I realized that we were going to be okay. I remember that. You went on vacation down the islands, or on the beach, the was up there. I told you I loved you more than most of my tools. <laughs> Actually, I blocked that moment out. <laughs> no, I had been really sick. Just terrible, terrible flu. And you passed up Laker tickets so that you could stay home and take care of me. Yeah. Well, I was young and low. <laughs> scalp those tickets for three times their face value. <laughs> I can't believe it's been 18 years. I can't believe it's been all night. The sun's coming up. Wow. Oh. You remember the last time that we stayed up all night, just the two of us, sitting and talking? I know what night you're talking about. Mm -hmm. The night I proposed. Yeah. You remember afterwards we went out for breakfast? To that place with the, the big wagon wheel out front? Yes. With that big wagon wheel right in front of the place. Yeah. What was the name of that place? The wagon wheel. <laughs> and you remember what we did after that? Yes. I don't think I can still do that after a plate of their high ho silver dollar pancake. Mm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Maybe this time we should have pancakes after. I hope so. <laughs> Jill, where do you keep the cream rinse? <laughs>